Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this crazy wild hair look. So I was going to a fundraiser over the weekend and I decided to have a little fun. I was going to a Prince tribute band to raise funds for children. So I wanted something fun and I got out my three barrel Revlon curler and I curled away. After brushing out some tangles, I am going to prep my hair with the Smooth and Seal by Big Sexy Hair. It's a great hair product. They, the hair sprays, the Smooth and Seal just does a great job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair. Spritz my root. I'm going to back comb a tad. Kind of laying out that hair flat. I'm going to take my three barrel curler. I either got this from CVS or Walmart, either one. And I'm going to go upside down with that curling iron near the root. And I'm going to press. And basically count to six. Then what I do is where that last dip is right here, I'm going to go ahead and put the end of the curling iron in that previous dip. And I'm going to go ahead and push it towards my head so that I can keep that dip as it's And then we're going to go down, hit that end piece right there. Just going to match that in again. Push up towards the head. So as that hair is cooling, it keeps the dip going. Or the waves, not the dip. For approximately six seconds. And basically I just move all the way down the hair shaft. grab the next piece and this time I'm going to go in the opposite direction I mentioned as the hair is cooling, I will take a light hairspray. This says it's all day control and lift youth boost by Trace Ame, a voluminous hold. You get light hold at best. Now I don't spray the root or back comb the very bottom piece as you notice. I'm only going to do it around where the ear goes and up is where I need to start building my volume because again I've got extremely fine thin hair. And basically you can go in any direction with this curling iron and that's to give it a more natural look so that all the waves don't sit on top of each other so please take different sections and grab them with the hair the three barrel curling iron in different spots and holding it in different directions and you're gonna like that much better have two sections really going here so we'll go ahead and prep our roots
And if you have a little wispy piece, don't worry about it. Let it go. It's kind of a beachy way of look anyways. This one we will do sideways. And backwards. the top so that'll give me a nice lift on the crown to going. I'm going to flip this again over because this is going to give us some root lift. keeps catching on the edge of the desk on like <laughs> okay so I'm gonna leave just a tiny bit a wee bit of the bangs out but I am going to do some of the bangs my hot tools just regular one inch barrel I believe I'm going to shape my bangs okay we're done with this tutorial no we're not <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm finishing the tutorial. I'm just gonna kind of lightly go through what I've just created. Just by kind of going through the roots and seeing which way it all falls. And then you're like, what about those bangs? What about those bangs? Are you gonna keep the bangs that way? No. All right, so those have probably done shaped itself. As you could tell, I did have some hairspray in there. And I'm just going to sweep these to the side. Loosely underneath my hair and then I'm going to pin them into place and kind of shape them also. And when I think I may have the shape I want, I will spray underneath and on top. And we got a loose piece. So if you get a loose piece, just take another bobby pin, put it in a, its little spot, pin it down, lightly spray. That's all there is to this crazy wild look. Finish it off with your favorite hairspray and you're good to go. I want to thank each and every one of you who took the time to view my videos today. And if you enjoyed the videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my crazy videos, how to's, tutorials, makeup and hair, please feel free to subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, Feel free to refer me to a friend or family member. But on the serious side, I do want to thank you. You have the opportunity to watch so many beautiful artists out on YouTube showing you how to do things that are absolutely amazing. And because you took that time to watch one of my videos, I am extremely humbled and thankful. So again, I can't thank you enough for your time. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make it a beautiful day.